far spills down Glen Eagle and Wynnum Through better and on and fair Through over and under Up to the water's edge Overhanging Mines and place of horses Tethered and found ships And rays and snappers Pass through the saloons Tallest trees over the top of the landmark. Their branches smashed through the windows, holding hands with all its own queens. Orangutans, golden light tamarinds, sloths, loose from the botanical gardens, now swinging high up in the canyons, multiplying as rivalry as the green world. This wild boy from the territories cross the harbor on the stepping stone tanks. Camp under the escalator rising in a hollow bank. And in a brush of the gently cascading floor, a lone mouse deer that gaze. A rush of flamingos through Statue Square. Sends over the ghosts of red and white caps and turns towards the gap in deep water. Scarlet ibis is on the balconies of the hotel, picking up pillows and pitiful light stones. The black haired kites have not moved from their giant serpents over the harbor. Their prey multiplied a trillion fold, their ground one small, ancient. The noise is a tapestry, music of cries and whistles, honks and trills, woven in the dancing tunnels and car doors, where the leaves and tendrils, trunks and golden boughs of an on-land sea, thrashing in the nameless typhoon, howling over the shapely crests and flanks of Victoria, now indistinguishable from the drowned honeycomb, the green gown first covered then breaking, pulling the vain towers back to earth, and then covering once more. And should it ever come again, Troy says one, and call another, London a third, will.